Today, I'd like to just, <coughs> one second, <coughs> jeez. Today, I'm going to talk about the best homemade cough syrup and sore throat soother. I'm sorry, I just like demonstrating various symptoms when I talk about them. Sometimes people don't get my dry sense of humor when I'm trying to be funny. All right, this video is on coughing and a sore throat, one of the best remedies. Now, it does involve honey. In other videos, I've always talked about honey and how it can affect your blood sugars. But in this circumstances, if you have a cough, especially a chronic cough or a sore throat, I changed my viewpoint on that. I'm going to tell you why in a minute if it's a very specific type of honey. But this remedy involves a certain type of honey, which I'll explain, lemon, apple cider vinegar, and water. And the active ingredient that has most of the benefits is manuka honey. Okay, this is a very specific type of honey that has some very interesting effects, uh, very interesting research and a lot of natural chemicals that create all sorts of effects. So even now, it is a sugar, it's 70% fructose and 30% glucose, okay? It can affect your blood sugars. It has a lot of other things in it that can actually help you for various things, which I'm gonna go through. There's some massive research on this type of honey. I'm gonna put all the links down below. But in one study, it worked better than an antibiotic and certain medications for coughing. And so just to clarify, it's not the fructose or the glucose that's creating the positive effect. It's all the other amazing chemicals that these little bees go out and extract from flowers and bring back to the beehive, specifically the manuka bush, which has some amazing, amazing phytochemicals. Manuka honey has been shown to decrease the symptom of a sore throat, it has positive benefits for burns, all types of burns. It's great for wound healing, as well as ulcers like in bed sores. In fact, it's an approved FDA treatment for both wound healing and bed sores. Apparently some of these natural chemicals in the honey release oxygen from your hemoglobin and speed up the healing process. It has anti-allergy effects, anti-inflammatory effects, it can inhibit an upper respiratory tract infection. It has antithrombotic effects, which help reduce clotting. It has major beneficial immune effects. It also inhibits a strep bacterial infection, as well as showing positive benefits for gingivitis and periodontal disease. Even though it's a sugar, it does not cause cavity. In fact, it can reduce placking. And again, I'm not recommending this as part of your diet because it has a lot of sugar in it, but for coughs and a sore throat, you might want to try this. So this is simply how to make it. You get a mason jar, okay, with a lid, and you add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Why? Well, um, apple cider vinegar increases phagocytosis. It can help speed up the immune process and get you through this infection a little bit faster. Also, apple cider vinegar is antimicrobial. All right, Second thing is you're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. If you have the time, I would prefer if you took one whole lemon, make sure it's organic, and blend the whole lemon as a part of your lemon instead of the lemon juice. Why? Because there's gonna be a lot more vitamin C if you have this raw blended lemon mixture in this concoction. But if you don't have time for that and you want more convenience, just use two tablespoons of lemon juice, preferably organic. Now, lemon juice has some, some really amazing properties too. Um, it can act as a natural antibiotic. It has antimicrobial properties. It can also suppress a cough. All right, the third thing you're gonna add is two tablespoons of manuka honey. Then you're gonna add eight ounces of water. You'll shake it up, keep it in the refrigerator, okay? And I would recommend taking it as a shot. Get a shot glass, Take a shot at a time, slug it down, let it like permeate your throat and swallow it. And you can do that several times a day. Now, I don't recommend uh, boiling this because we're dealing with enzymes and certain chemicals that can be affected with heat. However, another thing you could do that works pretty good is make some slippery elm bark tea, okay? And then you can let it cool down a little bit, add the honey to it, like one tablespoon, 
Okay, you can melt it into the mixture and you can sip that as a tea. Just don't add the uh, honey when it's really, really hot. And as one additional point, if you're gonna blend the lemon instead of using the lemon juice, what I would do is I would mix everything together, okay? The water, the honey, the apple cider vinegar, and the glass of water, and blend that as one unit, okay? And then you can keep it in the fridge. Now it's gonna be pretty strong. It's gonna be pretty potent. So when you slug this down, uh, it might initially kind of irritate your throat because of the apple cider vinegar. So if it, that's the case, then you can add more water. But for most people, it seems to suppress the cough. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on lemon water, that's a really good one. I'll put it up right here. Check it out.